In this tutorial, I will explain what link budgets, maximum link budgets, and link margins are. But first I need to explain what modulation and demodulation means. If an input signal, aka message, is imposed onto a carrier signal, for example this carrier signal, this process is called modulation. The modulated signal is broadcasted to the receiver. This is the modulated signal. Demodulation is the opposite, where the original signal is recovered from the modulated carrier wave. A link budget is a sum of all of the gains and losses from the transmitter, through the medium, to the receiver in a telecommunication system. It is a way of quantifying the link performance. Everything what is green, this, this and this are gains and everything what is red, this, this and this are losses. The radio transmitter value must be specified in dBm, otherwise you do not know its absolute value. This cable including connectors and this cable including connectors and the signal propagating through the medium are all losses and these values are expressed in the unit dB. When a signal propagates through the medium, the signal loses strength. This is called the path loss or path attenuation. A well-designed antenna usually increases the signal strength. The receive power, also known as receive signal strength indication or RSSI, is a sum of the transmitted power plus all the gains and losses. The received power is plus 20, minus 5, plus 10, minus 115, plus 12, minus 2, equals minus 80 dBm. Please note, these values are not realistic values. These are just made up. The receiver sensitivity is the lowest power level at which the receiver can receive or demodulate the signal. For example, the receiver sensitivity is minus 90 dBm. The difference between the receiver power and the receiver sensitivity is called the link margin. Again, the link margin is the received power minus the receiver sensitivity. If the received power is minus 80 dBm and the receiver sensitivity is minus 90 dBm, the link margin is 10 dBm, which is the same as 10 milliwatts. Question, there are two receivers, receiver A with receiver sensitivity minus 120 dBm and receiver B with receiver sensitivity of minus 130 dBm. Which receiver is better? The answer is receiver B, because it can demodulate a radio frequency signal at a lower power level. If the link margin is too big or too small, Corrective actions can be applied to ensure the system will operate satisfactorily. The link margin must be positive. The received power must be greater than the receiver sensitivity and should be at least a few decibels for the receiver to successfully demodulate the signal. LoRa receivers are very sensitive and are offering a sensitivity down to minus 148 dBm due to the use of chirp spread spectrum. I will explain chirp spread spectrum in a later video. More information can be found at this link. The maximum link budget can be used as a baseline value to compare one radio to the next. To calculate the maximum link budget, you can use this equation. The maximum link budget equals the maximum transmitter power minus the lowest receiver sensitivity. For example, the maximum transmitter power is 20 dBm and the lowest receiver sensitivity is minus 148 dBm. In this example, the maximum link budget will be 168 dBm. This is the maximum transmitter power, which is 20 dBm. And this dotted line represents the lowest receiver sensitivity. In this example, it is minus 148 dBm. The maximum link budget will be 168 dBm. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.